Hey, so we're live and it's Wednesday, so we're talking all, all stuff business related. Um, if you have your own business, that is, working from home. So my name's Karen, I'm a holistic transformation coach. So I help people find their mojo, help them get back on track, whether that's with regards to any goal, whether it's a business goal, whether it's um, weight loss, whether it's mindset. And to be honest, quite a lot of the time, they all link up. When we've lost our mojo, it seems like everything goes to pot. So today's talk is relating to business. Uh, if you have specifically got your own business um, and the daily mode of having a specific daily mode of operation, right? And, and the importance to, to form and follow these habits daily if you're looking to achieve, to, you know, to grow your business. The biggest challenge that I see as a coach is the transition from an employee to business owner. And that is relating to mindset. And the issue is here is that if you've already always worked for somebody, you're used to being told exactly what to do. And whatever you do for a living, you know that when you started, you were, you were given uh, processes, strategies, you know exactly what was expected of you every single day. The things you need to do get done every to, every single day. You may have had a checklist, you may not, but you know you've got to do certain things in order to get paid at the end of the week or at the end of the month. The biggest trouble when people tra transition to a business, especially when it's something that is um, very reasonably priced to start, like uh, some kind of network marketing or direct sell, selling or, 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 or having an online business where the, the cost to start a business isn't so much, um, you don't have these strategies in place. You might have an upline telling you to do some really awful spammy stuff that you don't want to do and that isn't going to work. And because you don't have a boss, you don't have anybody to hold you accountable to the things that you're doing, it can be very easy to end up scrolling through Facebook, looking at YouTube videos, <laughs> getting nothing done. And at the end of the day, how productive were you and how, how close are to your, to your goal? So everybody needs a specific daily mo mode of operation, daily method of operation, something to follow, some kind of checklist so that you know, you know you're doing the things that are going to specifically grow your business um, over time um, that are just, you know, that's got to be done. The important things are actually going to bring in the money um, as opposed to, yeah, just wasting your day, really. So having that checklist, so starting off with, you know, at the end of the day, whatever you are selling, you need to grow your audience, especially if you're doing this online. So what are the things that you're doing every single day? What are the action steps that you're taking every single day to actually grow your audience on social media um, of your ideal customer? So obviously that's, that's um, only if you, you already know who your ideal customer is. So I suppose that's actually step one is identifying who your ideal customer is. Um, and then working out where they are. And then what are you doing every single day to connect with these people or find these people and have them coming to you? What are you doing? And I please, if you're doing this, please stop. If you're, if you're sending people friend requests randomly, please stop. And then automatically sending, um, you know, like my page. I mean, it's just cringe. And it's not going to work. And they might not be your ideal customer. I mean, it, it gets my goat when some people do that. I think, do you even know that I'm your ideal customer? You've just sent me this uh, request to um, like your page and you, 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 how do you know that I'm your ideal customer? And I get it in the beginning and try, I'm sure I did it in the beginning. So, um, because you just, you just think, well, I want to get the word out. Everybody needs to know what I'm doing because everybody could be my, potential customer no they're not not everybody's going to be interested in what you're doing what you're selling and that's the bottom line and when you get over the fact that life is a lot easier um so having something in place so 
uh, put in the comments what what do you what is yours do you have a specific daily method of operation is it working for you and if it isn't send me a dm maybe i can help because just even having a checklist to do so that it, there's no emotion attached to it i i do remember um a saying that was that i learned a very long time ago that I, it stays in my head and uh, it is, it's 100% correct. And that is be married to the process and divorced from the results. Because in the beginning, when you're trying to, to build, people can get so desperate to make the sale. It will tend to push the sale away. So they might do something or post something. They're just looking for the instant result. And it's not about that. It's about the long term strategy. You've got to have some kind of long term strategy in place because it's not about the instant likes, comments, whatever. It's about building the no like, and trust factor over time. And so what can you do every single day so you can just, without any emotion attached to it, no, no emotion attached to the end result, you just go through your list, things, the most important things you need to do that day to move your business forward. When you finish that list, that's it, turn it off. Who wants to be surgically attached to their phone? I certainly don't. There's this other thing called life out there. <laughs> so um, it's when you treat it as a proper business, like you would going into work, doing what, however many hours you do at work, and then switching off, coming home. Um, so that you do have some kind of work-life balance. So if you need any help with a, a, a DMO, message me, tell me what you're up to, um, what you need help with, maybe I can help. So tomorrow I will be back.